Hey fellow traders, welcome back to Insider Financial. I'm Alex Carlson. In this video, we are going to discuss the small caps on our radar. First, we have a new profile for Tuesday's session. This undiscovered biotech has blockbuster potential with the only fully human anti-CD3 monoclonal antibody in clinical development. Pull up TLSA right away. TLSA has closed green five of the last six sessions and looks to be on the move right now. Historically, monoclonal antibodies such as blockbuster drug Humira have performed as the best-selling drugs in the world, targeting across multi-indications multi such as autoimmune disorders and degenerative diseases. These drugs have multi-billion dollar blockbuster potential. To this day, there is no drug on the market that is a fully human anti-CD3 monoclonal antibody and Tiziana Life Sciences is developing the potential to treat patients in need who suffer from secondary progressive multiple sclerosis. TLSA is a clinical stage biotechnology company that specializes in developing transformative therapies for neurodegenerative and lung diseases. The company's clinical pipeline includes drug assets for secondary progressive multiple sclerosis, ALS, Alzheimer's, Crohn's disease, and KRS, KRAS plus NSCLC. Tiziana is led by a team of highly qualified execu executives with extensive drug development and commercialization experience. The company is developing transformational formulation technologies, enabling it to switch from traditional routes to alternative routes of immunotherapy to facilitate local sites of action. Even our, in our day and age, there is currently still no cure for neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's and ALS. The rise in diagnosis can be attributed to the aging population as life expectancy increases. TLSA is a revolutionary uh, company in the biotech space as the company works to deliver on its clinical strategy through an exciting pipeline with drug development programs across several degenerative and autoimmune disease indications that have a significant unmet need. Right now, there's news in play and the chart looks prime for a major move. Start your research on TLSA right away by reading our new report on TLSA. To get our full report on TLSA, click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up. Just see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. The second small cap on our radar is MLEC. MLEC said that the USDA has determined that the company's genetically engineered soybean accumulating animal meat protein is unlikely to pose an increased plant pest risk relative to non-engineered soybeans. The company said that therefore it is not subject to the AFIS regulation that governs the movement or of organisms modified or produced through genetic engineering. By adding a well-known animal meat protein to the standard soybean proteins, the company expects to provide food manufacturers with a unique ingredient that will have a positive carbon and water footprint. The stock closed up 76% today, but it was a red candle. Look for consolidation here and then look for another breakout above $3. The third small cap on our radar is AGBA. AGBA Group Holding has entered in a definitive merger agreement to combine with Triller Corp, an AI-driven social video platform. Upon completion of the transaction, AGBA will become a Delaware corporation that wholly owns Triller, and AGBA itself will be majority owned 80% by current Triller stockholders and restricted stock unit holders. The board of directors of Triller and AGBA have agreed to value the combined group at $4 billion and Triller shareholders will own 80% of the pro forma combined group representing a valuation of $3.2 billion. AGBA is 74.4 million shares outstanding today and current AGBA shareholders will own 20% 
of the pro forma combined group, the implied value of AGBA's current outstanding shares at $800 million based on a $4 billion valuation is $10.75 per share. Uh, it's getting a lot of attention now. The stock uh, closed at 250, was trading higher in the after hours. Uh, pure momentum play, play the momentum, uh, and let's uh, see if we can uh, get above the today's high is uh, 269. So we'll be watching for a breakout above that tomorrow. Uh, the fourth play on our uh, radar for Tuesday is SMFL. Uh, a lot of chatter on stock twits uh, from Stocks Rocks Man. Uh, he's uh, delivered some major bangers for his followers. And then Mr. Zach Morris is over on X.com. Uh, he's been ta he's talking about SMFL. Uh, it says here uh, uh, SMFL high growth market opportunity in 2022. The nutraceutical industry is worth 400 billion by 2027. It's expected to be projected worth over 720 billion. Uh, SMFL had over 360 percent revenue increase in 2021 uh, year uh, revenues are expected to increase by 500 percent over the next uh, 12 months and basically he's also saying that uh, it says here if there's no tomorrow this thing should launch if this is a true 250,000 share float and under uh, over on stock twits they say the show the float is 1.81 million uh, again he's saying under 250 so let's see uh, but again as he says if there's no uh, shenanigans uh, it should launch so we'll be watching this one uh, for a move tomorrow uh, fifth uh, on our radar screen is another low floater, EDBL. Uh, the company announced today it just regained NASDAQ compliance. Stock was up 66%. Again, as you can see here, a lot of room to run in EDBL. Lastly, on our radar screen is LIFW. Uh, I covered this one recently uh, after uh, Palantir disclosed a 6.5% stake. Uh, if you look over here on uh, on uh, finviz.com, we've had a big seller, Cano Health, a 10% owner. Uh, they are almost done. Uh, they just uh, dumped 1.1 million shares on April 2nd at 88 cents. Uh, it looks here under a million shares left. Uh, CEO John Ruiz, uh, he just bought bought a uh, half million dollars worth at a dollar 14 uh, last month so I think this one is one you should put on your radar screen uh, it's, it has a history of big runs we've caught two of these big runs here and also uh, talking about it last uh, earlier this month uh, but we got above two dollars and since pulled back again this Trade it, don't own it. It's a great uh, uh, trader. Uh, and look at here, rounding bottom, looking like it's getting ready to spike again. So we've had one, two, uh, three, four. Let's see if the fourth time is still the charm for us in LIFWs. This has been a big winner for us here at Insider Financial. And then, of course, tomorrow I will also be scanning pre market. And if I see anything else, I will let subscribers know. But Tuesday's primary focus is TLS. A. Uh, make sure you read our full report and do your research. At Insider Financial, we put stocks on your radar with potential outsized moves. As I repeatedly stated, there are always opportunities in the markets daily. The important thing is identifying which stocks to be in to grab that money. The key is trading green, not red. We are looking for those momentum plays that have catalysts. It's all about finding momentum before it happens and riding that wave. That's what we're doing here at Insider Financial. And to get our small cap reports, we cover low float, short squeezes, recent IPOs, biotech FDA plays, AI stocks, EV stocks, lithium stocks, and insider buying. Click that link in the description or go to insiderfinancial.com backslash LP backslash YouTube or sign up at Insider Financial. No spam. Your info is never shared. Unsubscribe anytime. You can even sign up just to see the level of research we do here at Insider Financial and unsubscribe. Finally, thanks to Interactive Offers for sponsoring this video on TLSA. Insider Financial and I are not investment advisors and this video does not provide investment advice. Always do your research, make your own investment decisions, or consult with your nearest financial advisor. This video is an eye solicitation or recommendation by Seller Hold Securities. It is our opinion meant for informational and educational purposes only and does not provide investment advice. Past performance is not indicative of future performance. Thanks for joining me today on Insider Financial. Hit that subscribe button, ring the notification bell to never miss the latest insights and strategies. Until next time, happy trading. This is Alex Carlson signing off. Bye-bye.